welcome to the Mosedale Round. We're setting off now down the Mosedale Valley and we're going to go up over those. Pillar, Scope Fell, Steeple, Red Pike, finally going up over Doorhead to Ubarra, dropping back down to Overbeck. We've placed two cars at Overbeck and everyone's here at Wasdale Head to start the walk. And it's an absolutely stunning day. Can't wait, we're gonna take you with us. The Mosedale Round is a well-known walker's route starting from Wasdale Head in the Lake District. If you do the full round, it is approximately 10 and a half miles in length. In our case, we saved one and a half miles of boring roadwork by parking two cars at Overbeck getting in another and driving to Wasdale Head for the start. Setting off from Wasdale Head, we ascend via the Black Sail Pass to a coal where we turn west, firstly heading over the Burkitt Fell top of Looking Stead to our first Wainwright and the highest point of the route, Pillar. Dropping steeply to Wind Gap, we start another ascent, arriving first at the Burkitt Fell top of Black Crag and then our second way right, Scope Fell. Heading north, we walk a short distance to the top of Steeple and bag our third way right, before heading directly south to our fourth and fifth way right, Wasdale's Red Pike and the mighty U Barrow. It is then just a matter of dropping back to Overbeck. Mosedale Round can take many forms, for example Kirk Fell can be included to create the so-called Mosedale Horseshoe. In another version you can cut out U Barrow and scree surf down Doorhead Screes which drops you into the Mosedale Valley and you just do a short flat walk back to Wasdale Head. Now that is great fun. There are several areas known as Mosedale in the Lake District. This beautiful area northwest of Wasdale Head is typical of a glacially created valley, but made special, surrounded by these mighty fells, and it is just awe-inspiring from every angle. Here we are, finally, Black Sail Pass. Really heavy going that. Yeah, it's all good. So Black Sail at long last, which means essentially that we can have a nice break now before we crack on over the tops. Very, very hot, to say the least. the break over at Black South so now the adventure begins. We may bag Looking Stead which is a Burkitt but ultimately our next wonderful fell is Pillar. We're now starting to make our way up to Looking Stead. You can see down the Ennerdale Valley it just looks awesome and you can see haystacks and all the other fells way in the background. You can just see for miles, just glorious. Scarf Gap, just wonderful. This is why we travel 350 miles from flat, boring, horrible South End on Sea to this. Alfred Wainwright was not so impressed with this view. In his Western Fell book, he says, Eddardale's natural beauty has been sacrificed to material gain an irretrievable mistake. A forestation has cloaked the lower slope of pillar in a dark and funeral shroud of foreign trees, an intrusion that no one who knew Ennerdale of old can ever forgive. Well, his passionate, heartfelt words were shared by many, 
and slowly Edadal, from what I understand, is being painstakingly returned to its natural state. So hopefully not irretrievable, AW. various areas showing on the map as piles of stone, lovely flat plateau area. Marge and Michael are just starting the ascent to Pillar. Here comes Bert. The heat is very, very sapping today. We are all literally melting in this. Now there is always benefits of being hot and knackered on a day like this. You stop, take your rucksack off, sit down, drink a few sips of cooling water and take a few deep breaths because it's going to be taken away by the sheer beauty that surrounds you. Just magnificent. Pillar. We are about to ascend its final punishment today and it is punishment. It is so hot. Here we are. Pillar. A few shelters and the Trig Pillar. Massive grassy plateau so there's many viewpoints to walk to and one of the ones we're going to do is to go and see Pillar Rock so we're going to just head south a little bit a few people up here lovely day too hot but lovely just come over to the south side of Pillar and there you can see Pillar Rock and there's actually some climbers on it today which is uh, good gives you a bit of perspective hopefully you can see that Michael and Marjorie had to crack on as they had a prior engagement in the afternoon so it was just left for us to say our goodbyes and then drop down Wind Gap. Right, here we are at Wind Gap. I've just walked through it. Obviously down there, Ennerdale again. The other three are just dropping down. I've just bounced down a little bit early so I can get this bit of video. Hopefully you can make them out. The three stalwart pensioners coming down from Pillar. Awesome people. Mary and Derek. Derek 73. Mary six. She won't like me telling you that, but there we are. But they're superb. Always with us when we come up. Great friends and really fit people. And here they are bashing down from Pillar. Once they get here, we'll crack on to Scope Fell. Lots of people come here of course but at the weekend they're all on the pike 
and they leave it all for us. Thank you very much. Wainwright says of Pillar, it is the highest mountain west of Great Gable, from which it is sufficiently removed in distance to exhibit distinctive slopes on all sides, steeply on one side and dramatically on the other, as befits the overlord of the western scene. I would add that not one mile is walked along its lovely ridge without beholding yet another dramatic vista. time on Scope Fell and then we're going to wander down there and do steeple. Steeple is only a 308 yard stroll from the Scopefell wall or 281 metres if you prefer. Anyway, it's not very far to walk and the scenery is just dramatic either side of it. Okay, here we are on Steeple. Scopefell in the background, there's Haycock, Grike and so on and so forth, and all the Ennardale fells. Starling Dodd over the other side there. And of course, Red Pike. You can see um, Grass Moor in the background. And miles and miles and miles, as I've said before. Gable, Scarfo Pike still in view. And Today, it's the turn of Bert to bag it. So, well done, Bert. Nice one. Steeple, tagged and bagged. Say goodbye to Scopefell Wall and we now make our way to Red Pike. Last time Dave and I were here we saw a mole around here and funny enough you can see the odd ant hill or mole hill but it was absolute fresh dirt that had come up so it was definitely a mole but when you look at these little clumps it does make you wonder that was definitely a mole hill. I did make a note of the location but probably won't see it this time. Anyway onwards let's bag Red Pike Wasdale. Bit of boulder hopping just to join the path, it's no problemo. They're all been here for many many moons or years. That's another dimension, who wants to go down a boring old path? Eh? Just over there you can see Scope Tarn, it's a very pleasant one if you walk a nice walk to a tarn. And Wheeler will tell us whether she's swam in it, I'm sure she has. It's very pleasant on a hot day like this I have to say. But we're still boulder hobbing. Oh, great fun. <laughs> ah, God, I do witter on. Red Pike, Wadsdale. Goes the beep in my pants. Tagged and bagged by Bert. <laughs> Brilliant, mate. Well done. Red Pipe was down. Well done. The sun is shining, melting the clouds away. Got me some blue sky action. I'm breathing today. Not too far up. 
Just a small little fella. <laughs> There's Pillar, the wonderful Mosedale Valley. All the Scarfells, the glorious Great Gable. And you can just see Westwater there. Burnmore Tarn, actually, that is, and there's Westwater. So super. And of course, what we did the other day, which is Middlefell, Sea Talon, and Buckbarrow. And there's Haycock. What a day this is turning out. Wonderful Mosedale round. And now we're off to you, Barrow. The sun is shining, melting the clouds. Got me some blue sky action I'm breathing today I know I'm burning This is my final day I'm gonna go out smiling A king for a day There it is, Stirrup Craig. So it's a will we do it or won't we? At the moment, everyone's still dropping down from Red Pike. So I'm going to show you door head screws again while they're coming down. But there is Stirrup Craig. Looking very enjoyable. We'll see if they want to do it. What's the betting, folks? What's the betting? Door head screws. That is a little bit of fun. Essentially, pick your lane. This one or this one. The choice is yours, folks. Lane one or two. We took this one. The team have climbed you, Barrow, several times before, and as it was so hot and had already been a long and exhausting day, the crew voted unanimously to just drop back to Overbeck today. However, for the benefit of those of you who have not been on New Barrow and wish to include it when you do this route, here are a few pictures taken by us on this wonderful fell from previous climbs. That's it folks, we drop now back to Overbeck Bridge in the car and we end with that lovely view of Westwater. Hope you enjoyed our version of the Mosedale round, sadly not including you Barra but it was just too hot, we were all getting sunburn and it would have just been the final straw and we like to enjoy ourselves and as we always say, the fells aren't going anywhere. So, cheers. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it and please subscribe so you get notifications of new stuff when it's published. The channel has nearly 200 videos for you to enjoy from relaxing walks to extreme scrambles and climbs. To find out more why not join us on Facebook? Simply search for Fat Boys on Tour. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out there.